Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued a circular regarding the holiday on the beginning of the new year 2017, stipulating that all government ministries, directorates and public institutions will be closed on Sunday, January 1st, 2016, corresponding to the third Rabia Al Akhir. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa paid a visit today to the Royal Guard. Upon arriving to the celebration field, he was received by the Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Brigadier Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Royal Guard Special Force Commander, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. After that, the national anthem was played. قوات الواجب رقم ثمانية جاهزة للتفتيش سيدي Royal Highness then inspected guards of honor. He expressed pride in the contributions of Bahraini people throughout history, which reflects their sense of responsibility towards their country and their nation. He commended the efforts of the Defense Force affiliates in supporting legitimacy in operation, restoring hope in the brotherly country of Yemen, as well as their efforts in securing humanitarian aid to the people of Yemen under the Saudi-led Arab coalition. He noted that allocating a day to revive the memory of the people who sacrificed their lives were assuming or while assuming their national duties every year reflects his majesty king hamad bin isa al khalifa's pride and appreciation of their noble sacrifices he wished the injured speedy recovery and bahraini soldiers a safe return home
مجموعة العلم جنبان اسمع قوة اسرع سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظكم الله أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة ضيوفنا الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سيدي في هذا اليوم يتشرف الحرس الملكي بحضوركم الكريم وبهذه الرعاية الدائمة من لدن سموكم حفظكم الله سيدي يتشرف العميد الركن سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة قائد الحرس الملكي بإلقاء كلمته His Highness Brigadier Sheikh Nasser then delivered a speech on this occasion. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sayyidi Sahib al-Samu al-Malaki al-Amir Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, Waliy al-Ahd, Naib al-Qaid al-A'la, Naib al-Awwal al-Rais Majlis al-Wazara, Hafizah Allah wa Ra'ah, Ashab al-Samu al-Ma'ali wa al-Sa'ada, Adiyuf al-Kiram, Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sayyidi, نتشرف بزيارتكم للحرس الملكي في هذه الأيام الوطنية المباركة التي عمت مملكتنا الغالية كما نتشرف في هذا اليوم بتكريمكم لأبنائكم من قوة الواجب ثمانية التي عادت مؤخرا من جبهات وساحات القتال من أرض اليمن الشقيق نصرة لديننا الحنيف ودفاعا عن عروبته وسندا لشعبه ولحكومته الشرعية ضد قوة الشر والظلام سيدي كما أننا نعتز ونفخر في قوة الدفاع بتنفيذ التوجيهات السديدة والرؤية الحكيمة لسيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة ملك البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى حفظ الله ورعاه بالوقوف مع الشقيقة الكبرى المملكة العربية السعودية دفاعا عن حدودها الجنوبية سيدي تنفيذا لأوامر سيدي صاحب الجلالة القائد الأعلى حفظه الله ورعاه فأن قوات الواجب قد تم تعزيزها لتشمل مشاركة كافة من القطاعات والوحدات العسكرية في قوة الدفاع بالتناوب مع أخوانهم بالحرس الملكي المكلفين بقيادة الواجب وجاءت هذه الأوامر والتعليمات الفذة والسديدة من لدى قائدنا الأعلى لتعزيز مفهوم بناء القدرات التدريبية والقتالية أثناء العمليات لمنسوب قوة الدفاع في من مناطق الواجب على جبهات القتال سيدي سمو نائب القائد الأعلى لقد كان لدعمكم ومساندتكم لأبنائكم في قوة الدفاع وتذليل كافة الصعاب أمامهم في كافة الواجبات والمهام أكبر الأثر فيما وصلت إليه قواتنا في هذا المستوى العسكري المتميز وفي الختام أدعو الله العزيز القدير أن يحفظكم ويحفظ قائد مسيرتنا سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة ملك البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى وحفظه الله ورعاه سندا وذخرا للأمة العربية والإسلامية وأن يديم عليه دوام الصحة ولباس العافية وأن يحفظ مملكتنا من كل مكروه والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The Crown Prince then presented honoring medals to the officers, non-commissioned officers and Bahrain Defense Force affiliates participating in Duty Force 8. The medals were granted to them by His Majesty the King in appreciation for their efforts in Operation Restoring Hope in Yemen and in supporting legitimacy. The celebration was attended by the Minister of Defense Affairs and the Chief of Staff as well as a number of senior Defense Force officers.
The Speaker of the Ashura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired today the weekly meeting where the Council discussed a draft law on public health and decided to conduct further studies on the matter. The meeting also discussed topics of draft laws of more than 20 meetings with different ministerial bodies, affirming the importance of the draft law in enhancing health services for the society and its importance in coping with recent developments and needs in different health fields. In the light of the success of the Digital Empowerment in Education project, which came in implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi, attended the Digital Empowerment in Education and Bahrain's Educational Future Educational Conference held in Al Istiqlal Secondary Girls School, organized by 17 primary and intermediate schools. The minister viewed the students and teachers' experiments in the field of merging technology and education especially with regard to digital, digital education applications, virtual laboratories for science, educational e-communication techniques, and the benefit of students with learning difficulties from the project. The minister was present during a number of student discussion sessions that dealt with the views and the perspectives of students in all areas of e-learning. After that, he toured the conference's exhibition in which the, the participating schools provided films and brochures highlighting their achievements and the framework of the project. On this occasion, the minister expressed pride in the projects and educational experiments of the conference that affirmed the success of the digital empowerment in education project in achieving its goals and enhancing the positive outcomes of a King Hamad Future Schools project. He also added that the high level of the schools of digital empowerment motivates the ministry to further improve the project implementation process. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News on Bahrain International with me, Hewa Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,211.07 points, marking an increase of 12.25 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks, with 98.7% of total shares. 53 equity transactions included 148,600,701 shares, worth 9,888,600 Bahraini dinars.